Good afternoon and welcome to another one of our King's Kids Pew Packer videos. Hope that you are having a great day and a great week so far. We are going to sing our song, we'll have our Bible question and our memory verse, and we will close out with a prayer like we have been doing. And remember, parents, if you will make a short video of your king's kid saying their memory verse, whether it be the memory verse from this particular video or one of the previous memory verses that we have used, if you will just text that to me and uh, I can see it, I will make sure that your king's kid gets a certificate for a free kid's meal at Cane's. All right, so let's go ahead and have our song. I'm happy today, oh yes, I'm happy today in Jesus Christ. I'm happy today because he's taken all my sins away. And that's why I'm happy today. I'm singing today, oh yes, I'm singing today in Jesus Christ. I'm singing today because he's taken all my sins away. And that's why I'm singing today. I'm praying today, oh yes, I'm praying today in Jesus Christ. I'm praying today because he's taken all my sins away. And that's why I'm praying today. All right, so let's go ahead and do our Bible question. Our question today, and just like we've been doing, we'll go over the question three times and do the answer three times. Question today is, what is idolatry? And your answer is, idolatry is trusting in created things rather than the Creator. So again, your question is, what is idolatry? And the answer is, Idolatry is trusting in created things rather than the Creator. One more time, your Bible question today is, what is idolatry? And the answer is, idolatry is trusting in created things rather than the Creator. And... With that, we will move into our memory verse. And we are almost done with the Beatitudes. We've got one more after this one. And we're still in Matthew chapter 5. Last time we did verse 10. We are now ready for Matthew chapter 5, verse 11. Matthew chapter 5, verse 11. And it says, Blessed are you, when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Again, it's Matthew chapter 5 verse 11 and it says, Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. One more time. From Matthew chapter 5, verse 11, it says, Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Okay, and remember, you can say these verses at any time. You can have those texted to me. It can be any of the ones from previous it can be this one you can watch these videos as many times as you need to 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 learn the verse to get it down so that you can say it and that's the whole idea is repetition repetition so that being said we will close out with our prayer so let's go ahead and bow our heads and let's pray together dear God we thank you for this day for every blessing that you have given to us we pray God that you would help us to put you uh, number one in our life and to not uh, put anything above you so that um, we are guilty of idolatry. We pray, God, that we would uh, put you first. And also, God, we pray that you would just uh, help us to um, 
not only be faithful to you, but to not worry about what other people might say about us or to us um, because of who we are, um, because we belong to you. And sometimes people uh, say mean things uh, because they don't like the fact that we are Christians. Um, but God, we just thank you for Jesus and his willingness to die for all of us. And we pray, God, that you would be with those who are not Christians, that they might one day become Christians. We pray that in everything, God, that your will is done and not our own. And it's in Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. And until next time, I love you and God loves you. Have a great day.